OK, so here is another group lesson. We've got Terence and Rachel. What are you playing for us today, Rachel? Oh, should I play Fantasia then? Yes, let's do the Fantasia from the grade eight syllabus. Um, Fantasia in C minor, isn't it? OK, right, when you're ready then. dynamics in there. I particularly like the way you go soft in bar 9 and 25. All right. And that's a nice little thing to add into there. I mean, I know we've discussed this in our individual lessons, but for other people that might be listening, it does say at the bottom of the paragraphs on the first page, 
the dynamics are left to the player's discretion. So although there are no dynamics written in the book, and you'll find this generally in higher grades in the ABRSM, they don't add extra dynamics that are not in the source for the higher grades. They tend to suggest them in the lower grades because hmm, students are not so musically mature when they're doing grade one as when they're doing grade eight. But by grade eight, you're expected to add something of your own creativity into your performance. So that's good. All right. Um, can I have a little look at the ornament in bar 13? Have you noticed right at the end there, it's a demi semiquaver. Yeah. All right. So it seems a little bit long and early. It's something like what I heard you play. Instead of, it's very you late. And, well, yeah, and crushed onto the next bar a little oh, bit more. Okay. Than, um, yeah. Because it is a demi semi but let's just try that a little bit. Still too slow. Yeah, um, yeah, it's a little bit sort of easy going. Ba a bit more precise. Leave it later, leave it later, and then just really quick. Too early. Just leave, just don't play the E flat until the last possible moment. Ba -ba. Sorry. That's closer, yeah. So just leave it a little bit later, all right? And then. Um, sorry, sorry to play the E later. The last note later, yeah. Just oh. leave it to the last moment and then crush it onto the next bar. Demi oh. semi quaver is, is it needs to. Um, well, first of all, you've got a dot on the quaver on the note before that, so that needs to be longer. The D is longer, yeah. and then the E flat therefore necessarily will be later. Okay, can I just start once? So I think I've got it. And then in 15, 16, we got a little bit fast. I don't know if yeah, it's Yeah, I, I made a mistake there. Get a little bit panicked and we start rushing. Yeah. So whatever speed you set your tempo. Now, at the moment, it's a lot slower than the crotchet 66 suggested by the ABRSM and again it's only a suggestion it's not written in stone like the Ten Commandments okay <laughs> so we don't have to worry about that but if you set a tempo you stick to that tempo so normally right. at my I play at 50 that's but, fine okay but I, I, I think in the recording it almost, it, it almost when I play it for recording I probably slow it down to about 48 49 it's more important to stay in control and keep things even and you know steady than try something that's slightly beyond your capabilities and then end up with a mess even if you do hit 66 but if it's a messy 66 you'll get less marks than if you do a nice tidy 48 or something yeah yeah Did it sound like 48 or 50 to you um it, i wasn't actually measuring but it sounded it it's got to have that sort of like improvisatory feel that fantasia as long as you've got that improvisatory feel, the exact number doesn't really matter. OK. OK. All right. Now. Um, right. So you get this nice um, sort of firm ending. And then you turn the page and you've got, oh, no, it's strong as well, isn't it? But then in 19, this is another one of your good dynamics. You decide to go soft in 19, don't you? Yeah, I thought we agreed on that. But unfortunately, you're also going slower there. Slower, yeah. yeah. It's a typical thing that people do when they go soft, the tempo drops as well. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. 
Three tries from 17. So two bars loud. And then two bars, well, start at least. Soft on 19. But uh, don't stop them. Cautious, a little tiny bit cautious. Yeah. Do 19, tiny bit faster. 19. Yeah, bum, 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 bum. I'm trying to do quietly. Then you've got this crescendo and then you start speeding back up to the uh, original tempo a little bit yeah so just keep yeah. everything steady on there 31 now there's some nasty little crossovers and stretches but if possible can we try and keep the legato line on the semiquavers and then the big stretch that i know is a ninth but try and do it legato Previously, you had little tiny breaks when you're doing the big jumps. Yeah, I was panicking about messing it up, that's all. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, you know, just do it a little bit slower and then it'll get better. I like that. Um, also, the ornament in 37. Again. Very similar to the one we did earlier. The very last note is after a dotted rhythm. Yeah, so ba -ba. and you leave the last note a little later and shorter, like, just like before. That's it, like that. Okay. All right. And again, we just got a little bit of. I think it was almost relief that you got to the end. The last, <laughs> the last line started going double speed almost. <laughs> so I finished run to the end. It's like a sprint at the end. <laughs> All right, so just try and control the tempo there. OK, good. All right, that was useful. Um, Terence, are you going to play for us today?